Hi, welcome back. Um, the council has been upgraded. As you see, we're level 5 now. We need player level 11 to uh, upgrade it again. Uh, we got to collect some tomatoes in order to upgrade our training grounds. I have my uh, hunter training right now. Um, what else is going on here? Upgrading a bruiser weapon. Might not be able to see it, but it'll be there here in a second. I believe. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm upgrading something. It's in there. <laughs> Just killing off some of that EXP that I had. Um, and we're going to be doing a challenge mission. We're just going to head on over. Let's see what we got for, uh, do not kill any walkers and kill walkers with one attack. That's not going to happen until our, uh, hunter's out. So we're just going to try to, uh, get a mission going. So let's go here and let's see what we got. Um... Uh, this one's going to be really tough with uh, just our melee. We could try this uh, saviors here. Let's see if we got a replacer. There we go. We got our max uh, damage going on here. Um, Tim's just going to be doing the. Uh, let me. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll start. I was going to switch Tim to the other side. But we'll see how we do here. He should be level 3, so with you know, a couple level 5s, we should do almost all right. It's going to be uh, 5 on 3, I believe. So, for this map, the uh, first moves are getting to the... Uh, Inside here, we're going to get rushed. So again, we're just going to hit in turn. See if we get rushed again. Of course we are. Okay, the one we want the... Uh, Bruiser to attack is, of course, the warrior, because the warrior is going to have an arc more than likely and hit two or three of the guys. So we're going to come out a little bit and hit him with uh, both of our scouts. Hopefully Ronnie will get the kill so that way he'll be charged up, and he did. And we're going to use Tim to uh, beat on the uh, warrior there who has uh, Overwatch. All right, so uh, we're going to soften up uh, Joshua with Anne. Hopefully take him down to uh, where he's going to be leaning good. Then we'll use Ronnie to kill him off with the uh, brain stab. And we're going to keep this warrior immobilized with our bruiser. So now we can finish him off. And on this particular challenge, it doesn't matter how many turns you take, there's no spawn. So it's better to take it nice and slow, so that way uh, you can cover each of your guys. Okay, generally there might be a savior hiding up here behind the truck, but it doesn't seem to be there. So let's let that go, and we're going to move over to the uh, right. We're going to go in front of the police car, just because generally they're hiding on the uh, right side over here. You'll see here in a second. Yeah, there we go. And again, we're just going to do uh, the quick movement so that way we can get two attacks in. It's not going to matter here because... There we go. As you see, the uh, warrior had arc and hit both of our guys at once. So what we're going to do is move uh, Ronnie over here. Attack. And then we'll attack with Ann. If Ann doesn't kill him, then we'll hit him with Tim. There we go. And Tim will finish him off.
And look, we got 500 EXP for completing a challenge mission. And we got the uh, Kill No Walkers bonus, but that's okay. We're going to be kind of outclassed in any of the challenges we do at the moment because we won't have very good gear and I wasn't using ranged at the moment. Just because I didn't have any extra range to use, but we'll fix that here in a little bit after we uh, upgrade our uh, training grounds and the uh, radio tent will start making a few calls to flush out our uh, survivors quite a bit. And we'll also uh, build our uh, outpost so that way we get the three extra slots and we'll more than likely uh, throw away whatever survivors we got for EXP towards our survivors that we'll call on. Basically anything that we call should be a better survivor than what we have currently because there are so many that are limited to uh, level 3. So there we go. Kill that off. Made you watch it while I was giving you some info, but it's all good. And there we go. Let's hit continue. But generally you should be able to beat each of the first challenge levels. So there's six of them, so that should give you about 18 stars. Um, it's a lot easier with ranged weapons. And especially, like I say, this challenge is pretty tough anyway. I didn't want to do that, but I will. So, like I say, we'll start hitting these up and get some uh, challenge stars going with the uh, ranged. So, go back to camp, collect your stuff, and... Just keep doing your homework. Uh, like I say, we'll get through this pretty quick. Start pulling in the uh, challenge stars and upgrading our uh, survivors to a nice level here pretty quick. And that's about it. So I'll catch you down the road. And thank you for watching.